guys, we are back in Python tip calculator. As you can see, if I've done this before, um, I started reviewing for a Python course on here. But yeah, let's get started. So we'll, be, we'll just be resetting the code as we go. So, declaring a variable is as easy as just naming it and giving it some sort of value. In this case, we're going to say meal is 4450. Alright, cool. Good to go. Uh, we're going to give another variable and set it equal to a decimal decimal point ah decimal value of 0.675 oh excuse me 0 0.0675 other otherwise it would be 67% percent tax and we all be homeless basically all right so let's go and reset that um Stand, we're going to set a standard tip of 15%, which is equal to 0 0.015. Was that right? No, no, no. It's 0.15. Excuse me. 0.15. And, hey, Milo. Let's see. All right, uh, let's continue on. And... So this on on line seven, we're going to take our meal and reassign it to a value of itself times the tax. Okay, so we are going to say meal is equal to meal. Meal is equal to meal plus. meal times tax good and finally let's see what our total value is here so assign the, the variable total to the sum of meal plus meal times tip alright so we have meal plus meal times tax plus meal times tip and that should give us this should be our total rather so we're going to reset this to total and save and submit for now 5418 so 5463 so let's see here let's see if this fixes it Total to the sum of meal plus meal times tip. Oh, we're not including. Uh, what's going on here? So we have meal times tip. Meal plus total equals. So meal equals meal plus meal times tax. Assign the variable total, and then total. Okay, so they want us to do like this: equals meal plus meal times tip. So apparently they want you to tip on top of the tax. There we go, and we just finished the tip calculator. So a little basic sort of thing. Um, you could write a program for this, probably for the web. Uh, I don't know why you would, but hey, why not? Uh, so, up next, get a sneak peek at the next video, we're going to be doing strings and console output. So, uh, we've really only been working with integers and pretty, pretty basic stuff. As always, constructive criticism is appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next Python video.